document. As a culture, we're not great at acknowledging our mortality. This expectation that if something is uncomfortable, that it's inherently bad, I think that's a really dangerous, faulty belief. I first started getting interested in all of the stuff that I'm surrounded by, um, probably when I was a kid. I was raised very intensely Catholic, and I remember going down into the church basement with all the lights off, and just that deep, visceral feeling in the pit of your stomach, having no idea what was out at the other end. I grew up in an environment where my dad was a Y2K prepper. Angels were real, and demonic possession was real. It was just like huge things that could destroy you were just like lurking around every corner. But I don't think you can live your life without acknowledging things like death and disease. I do think that things have energy, for sure. Occasionally I get things and feel that pretty deeply. The story of the item and the energy that it has, I mean, that's what makes a lot of this stuff important. A lot of my photography, I'll find an object that I find really inspiring and want to incorporate it into something. I definitely want art to evoke something in you. I think when a piece of art like reaches out and like grabs you and says, hey, hold still, look at this. If something makes you uncomfortable, you kind of have two options. You can either run from it all the time and like never think about it, and it's maybe deep down in your subconscious and you're actively trying to avoid it, or you can lean into it. Why not acclimate to it? Why not incorporate it into your everyday life in a way that isn't controlling you? Yeah, and if you want to put this hand somewhere against the glass in this area, Mm -hmm. Nice. I want this store and also my photography to help people by providing an outlet to engage with the darker parts of being a human being. If you can engage with scary stuff in a way where you know it's not really going to hurt you, that makes you feel more alive. You can hopefully find some sort of peace. I mean, that's what it's done for me. I don't even know this place existed. Aren't those? Those are fox vertebrae. Even though I've been collecting for a long time, I do still get that sense of fear and like a little bit of dread or whatever it is. There's days where like a fear of death can like feel sort of preoccupying, but collecting this stuff is absolutely like exposure therapy for me. Growth as human beings happens on the edge of our comfort zone. If you come in and something freaks you out, Ask yourself why. Is being freaked out a bad thing? Maybe it's an opportunity for you to learn something new about yourself. It's important to have a comfort with your own mortality. It's inevitable.